Let's never feel sore apart. And then you can take me then. No, I don't want you for the night. Cause I want this life to share. Yet never with my love, my, my gravity. Connected to me so be, be part of me. Lead me astray. Got you in my system. Yeah, I've been waiting. Show me to your kingdom. We can Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Mazadu, your guide to the best clothes, tips, products, and ideas that help you look and feel your best. And to all my felines, welcome back ladies. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got these beautiful curls from doing a flexi rod set. This is the very first time that I have ever done flexi rods on my channel and I am pumped about it honestly i think i like flexi rods better than i like perm rods the only thing that i don't like about flexi rods is that like you have to figure out how to wrap your hair around the flexi rod which is honestly what took me so long to do a flexi rod tutorial and you have to be very gentle with unraveling the flexi rods like i think once you get that down it's way better than perm rods. I think it gives a prettier curl than perm rods. I think it's definitely more defined, but it also may be just because I uh, blow dried my hair. And also the secret key to getting the best results with flexi rods, I think is to work on blow dried or stretched hair. You, the blowout, the blowout is, is working wonders, okay? It's doing never ending stories out here. So in this tutorial, I am using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line. So these products right here. I did do this tutorial um, from start to finish. So without further ado, let's get into this Flexi Rod hair tutorial with my wash routine included. Hopping into the shower, I am going to begin washing my hair. And prior to this wash, I did have a hot oil treatment in my hair, so I'm just rinsing that out completely. Now moving on to the shampoo portion of this video. I'll be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Neem. And I'm just gonna focus most of this on my scalp and my roots. Rinsing that out. Next, moving on to the conditioner, I'll be using the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. And I'm generously applying this throughout my hair in which I did notice that it gave me really great slip and it allowed me to fully detangle my hair, so. As you can see, I'm just in awe of how, you know, detangled my hair looks and feels after applying this into my hair. And before moving on to the deep conditioning portion of this video, I did apply my rice water rinse, but I am saving that for another video in which I will go into detail. So you just have a few clips of me doing that right here. Moving ever onward to the deep conditioning portion of this video, I'm going to be deep conditioning with one of my all time favorite hair masks, that is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I'm going to also apply this very generously all throughout my hair. And I apply this from root to tip, really concentrating on the ends. And then I'll just let this sit underneath the shower cap, underneath the dryer for about an hour. <laughs> I will be moving on to my blowout. I'm gonna be using the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk as my leave-in to blow out my hair. And the blowout is actually the magic in this hairstyle. I find that stretched hair always gives you the best results when you want really, really defined curls with a rod set. 
And now it's time to style. And to style my hair, I will be using my all-time favorite styler. It's the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is actually like an OG product for me. I remember using this all the time when I first started doing my twist and curls. To do my flexi rod curls, I'm gonna start by taking a medium section of hair. And I'm gonna apply a dime size amount of the curl enhancing smoothie. A little bit goes a long way. Also, I don't want my hair to revert, so just a small amount is perfect. Next, I'll be taking this medium sized flexi rod. And I'm gonna begin to grip my roots. And then I just angle the flexi rod to where I can actually twist my hair on the flexi rod. So it's all about the position of the flexi rod. You wanna get it to work with your hand gesture and the way that you're gonna be wrapping the um, your, your hair onto it. So I'm gonna grip my roots to get them as sleek as possible. And then I'm gonna take the portion of hair and I'm just gonna twist and wrap that around the flexi rod. And then I'm gonna bend the flexi rod in order to secure the curl. And I find that this technique does give the best definition for this springy curl look. And I just apply a little bit of product, just a tiny bit of product to the ends of my hair, just to make sure it lays flat on the flexi rod so that it curls. And that's it, I'll just repeat that until my full head has been installed with these flexi rods. And just to note that I am using small to medium sized flexi rods. I don't think the different sizes made much of a difference. My curls all seem to be pretty much uniform. And also I'll be breaking the curls apart. So the size really doesn't matter. I think maybe just small to medium will work perfectly for this style. And I did leave the flexi rods on my hair for over 24 hours. And then I removed them. And to remove the flexi rods, I untwisted the flexi rods in the opposite direction in which I wrapped my hair around the flexi rod. Now it's time to separate and fluff. And I did not use a pick to fluff it out because I didn't want to disturb my curl pattern. I wanted it defined as possible. And I also want these curls to last. So I didn't want a lot of frizz. I wanted it to be really, really defined springy curls. And to create more volume, I just separated the curls. So the more you separate, the more volume it gives you. And this is the finished look. And I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Favorite peace and blessings, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.